What are you doing here at 6 a.m.? My poor aim keeps getting me into trouble, and I'm not really into the, the pirate look. Okay. <sighs> Forget it. I'm still spraying it all over the place. Can I borrow the onion goggles? Fine. How long do you need them for? I'm not really sure, but you know what they say. Till death do us part. What is going on guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. Instead of exposing my poor aim with a black light, I thought I'd let it dictate a day in my life using this dartboard that I got on Amazon. So I'm gonna let it decide everything that I do from what I eat, what I do in the gym, and the cardio. So this could be a really good day or a really, really bad day. So this is how today's festivities are gonna go. So every time I throw the dart, I'm throwing for four different options. Each option is given a number range. So I'm throwing right now for breakfast and the four options are, so number is one to five. If I land on that, I get a $20 minimum spent at Starbucks. Six to 10, I'm letting the person in front of me decide what I get wherever I want. 11 to 15, an entire watermelon, which is actually what I want. And then 16 to 20 is a jug of milk, which is that's pretty gross. It's disgusting. That's disgusting, yeah. And then if I hit the bullseye, of course, I can choose any of the four options. So let's get thrown for breakfast. <sighs> Gonna go for the bullseye for the first one. I kind of feel like Shaq at the three point line. From my experience, I gotta go slightly left. Doing things straight has never been in my wheelhouse, so. Five. So I was going for the bullseye and I ended up getting five. So just like in my personal life, I'm better off being the target rather than the dart. So five, and that looks like we're gonna start. Hi there, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great, how about you? Not too bad, thanks for asking. What can I get started for you? Um, can I get a venti pumpkin spice latte, an extra shot of espresso, caramel drizzle on top. And did you still want the whipped cream? Yeah, pile it on. And then I'll go with the egg white bites. And Anything then, else for you? yeah, the spinach feta egg white wrap. Uh, $20.17. That is perfect. Thank you. That's everything. Uh, $20.17. That is going to be. That's, an, that's a grossly expensive drink. That's a grossly expensive drink. Last time I was asked to with my money, I traded a cow for some magic beans. Okay, so we got our $20.17. Starbucks breakfast. This drink was $9.20 and let's give it a shot. So 70 cents extra for a caramel drizzle. I don't even charge for my vanilla drizzle and I don't like pumpkin spice lattes all that much, but here we go. There's extra whip on there. Maybe I should call this drink Katie. I know it doesn't taste anything remotely pumpkin, but it sure does taste like the dirt that it was grown in. Like I really, I don't even know why I got this. I love these things. Probably my favorite snack with music festivals. Uh, no longer going on right now. These are the only things I can really pop like Molly's. <sighs> this is one of those things that I have not been able to replicate at home. I try to make them all the time and they just don't come out like they do here at Starbucks. There's this nice like cheesiness to them. They have this like smooth kind of like Caillou bald head kind of feel. And then I make mine like muffins. They just, they're gross. Egg white bites are down. So now I got the spinach and feta wrap. So it is warm, it is big, it is floppy yet very tempting. And I swear Starbucks has quite the anabolic kitchen. This is only 280 calories. The egg white bites were 170, both made with egg whites. Great amount of protein. So no wonder why the prices rival Greg Doucette's cookbook. So I know with these, you gotta adjust your technique. You can't just go from end to end and take it down. You gotta do a slight little tilt because there's only bread here. You wanna get the goodness. Mmm, that cheese is juicy, yo. And that pesto, mm. If you can get one kind of like food item at Starbucks, this is what I recommend, definitely. If you don't like egg whites, you'll like this. The pesto just like takes it to another level. Towards the second half of this uh, venti latte, I feel myself like looking for cellulite, forming opinions on all the uh, Kardashians. I don't know how girls like that drink. It's just far too sweet. And it tastes very like artificial. I can't complain. Those are my two favorite things at Starbucks. The drink, not that great. We're gonna let that digest for around 30 to 45 minutes and then we're gonna be heading to the gym. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We are outside the gym right now, and now it's time to see what we're doing inside the gym. So, uh, numbers one to five is a glute workout plus 20 minutes on the Stairmaster, AKA the Instagram influencer workout. Six to 10 is letting a family member decide what I train. 11 to 15 is a 500 rep leg workout, and then 16 to 20 is an arm workout plus some 15 minute hit cardio. So the only workout I ever thought I needed when I was 16. So time to see what I'm gonna get. What should I go for? What do you think I should go for, the bullseye? Yeah, let's go for the bullseye. bullseye. Is that two? That's two. What is two? What is two? Two is a glute workout in 20 minutes. Stairmaster. Ooh, getting that booty pump. So a lot of people think to train glutes, all you have to do is like hip thrusts, kickbacks, but you can actually squat, and squatting is amazing for the glutes, especially heavy. So the first thing we're doing today, four sets, 12 to 15 reps on the belt squat. Probably my favorite thing for the legs lately. So my foot stance is a little bit wider, so I can get a little bit more of a glute contraction at the top. So if you want to like focus on your glutes while squatting, consider standing a little bit farther out, toes pointing outwards, and just feel a little bit more. That was 12 reps there. Um, my legs have grown substantially over the past couple months, and I would attribute that to, I have completely ditched the barbell back squat altogether, and I mainly focus on the belt squat, or a hack squat, or some sort of assisted squatting motion, because I feel like I can focus on the quad contraction a whole lot more. And also another thing I do is I've increased the reps. So usually when I squat, I was doing like five reps, five by fives, maximum eight reps. My legs didn't grow. I started doing 12 to 15s, 15 to 20s, my legs blew up. So struggling to grow your legs, squats is not always the answer. What do you think? Looking round, looking nice and round. There you go. Exercise number two, we're gonna do the barbell hip thrust, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. I like to do this one, moderate reps, and I really like to hold the top of the motion for around two to three seconds, and then slow on the way down to get as much like time and attention as I possibly can. One thing you wanna make sure that you do when you do these is, on the bottom of the motion, you wanna push up with the weight on your heels, it feels much better that way. Oh. Okay, so the third thing we are doing is some glute cable kickbacks, three sets, 15 to 20 reps. So usually uh, how I set my workouts up are, I'll do my heavy compounds first around the six to eight or eight to 10 rep range. For legs, I'll go a little bit higher in reps. And then the second movement, my secondary movement, I'll go like moderate reps, 10 to 12 reps. And then when I get to my accessory stuff, it's just higher rep pump work. So it's 15s to 20s, 12 to 15s, a bunch of stuff. So like I just said, three sets, 15 to 20 reps, uh, cable kickbacks. They seem easy, but they burn like crazy. Okay, so that is gonna wrap up the glute workout. So just three exercises. I don't do a whole lot of exercise variation. I just pick a few things and I make sure to go crazy with the intensity, and that's all you really need. You don't need a bunch of different exercises. It's just a few things and really focus on them, and that will get the job done. So glute workout complete. And now it's time for the Stairmaster. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. So we just got 
little over three minutes left, and then we're gonna figure out the post-workout meal. For the post-workout meal, we are outside of McDonald's. McDonald's seemingly has something for any diet, although most of my interactions with Ronald have been of the carnivore variety. But I'm gonna eat a thousand calories of McDonald's of either one to five being uh, vegan, six to 10 being omnivore, which is pretty much anything on the menu, 11 to 15 being carnivore, which I'm pretty much having just the patties and taking everything else off, and then 16 to 20 being vegetarian. So we'll see what I get. So obviously, I want omnivore, which is six to 10. Wind is coming from the southeast by the looks of the flag. If you go slightly to the right, six white, come on. What did I hit? 18, 18, 18, 18. Vegetarian, okay, vegetarian. Not bad, not bad. So it looks like we're getting two Big Macs with no meat. They're 400 calories each. And the apple pie is also vegetarian. So that's a little over a thousand calories. Okay, so we got two Big Macs, no meat, 400 calories each, like I just said, and an apple pie, which is also vegan. Fun fact, so gonna get this down. I do not believe this is gonna be very filling because the Big Mac with the meat is already not filling as it is. It looks like a definitely like a, just a survival situation. But I, I like to eat things that are a reflection of myself. Like this Big Mac is practically begging to be filled with meat, but. I mean, on the bright side, we saved a cow today. The pickle is just saving it though. Apple pie, 270 calories. If this is a bit more of an inviting temperature, it wouldn't be vegan for much longer, if you know what I mean. Mm. I think it might be a little bit overcooked though. They definitely don't fill it like I desire though. It needs like double the filling. It wasn't so bad once you like embrace the pickle with open arms. And it, all that means is I just gotta double up tonight. So, I'm gonna head home now. So I got my cashew milk. I have one scoop of protein in here, but what about the surprise ingredients? So over here we have four ingredients. If I land on one to five, I get to throw a chocolate bar in and in my line of work, slipping in a chocolate bar makes a lasting impact. And then we got one full habanero pepper, numbers six to 10, a hard boiled egg, which is disgusting, 11 to 15. And if I hit 16 to 20, I'm adding two additional scoops of protein. So there's literally a 50-50 chance I'm gonna like what I'm drinking, but at least I don't have to pretend I like what's coming. So. I am shooting for the Mars, which is one to five. We've got the board right over there. Now that was clutch baby. So I have a strategy now. So I knew one to five was the chocolate bar. And I just noticed now that like five and one, so I have like these like pies, Yes, split up like a pizza. So I had, if I just aimed for this kind of triangle, I had a good chance. So I was just lucky enough to get the five. Honestly, I don't even think chocolate bars are that bad anymore. Like they're literally the same calories as protein bars, so 240 calories. Not bad, I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. Oh, I forgot the top. Shit, okay. <laughs> Can a Vitamix even blend chocolate bar? I really do gotta switch to Ninja. So there it is in all of its glory. Got some little chunks, although I do prefer a smoother swallow. So taste test. Oh, that's good. Especially after that like subpar lunch. This just phenomenal. We are fueled up with the protein shake and all that sugar, and now it's time to figure out what we are doing for the cardio. So the four options are numbers one to five, we're picking up trash in the park, because unlike myself, I care about keeping the parks clean, clean streets, messy sheets. Uh, numbers six to 10, walking backwards on the treadmill for one mile, that sounds disgusting, and I get aggressively motion sick, so that might not be that fun. 11 to 15, stairs until I burn 300 calories and then 16 to 20, which is probably the most scary one. Kofi agrees, which is my mom's hit cardio. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I, I would never. Either. Yeah, so 
Um, I'm gonna gun for the one to five, and I think I'm gonna try doing a trick shot. I think I'm gonna do a trick shot. Don't know many, because the most skillful shots I've ever encountered have caused me to close my eyes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna shoot from up there, and we are gonna see what I get. Oh, yeah. oh what is that? Seven. Seven. Walking backwards on the treadmill for one mile. Oh, I gotta get a barf bucket. I feel like low key, we could break a Guinness World Record here. The fastest backwards one mile on a treadmill. Let's see how, what the time is here. Do steps register when you walk backwards? Like when those Scottish dancers. That's a bad idea. Yeah, that's a bad idea, thank you. Oh. Right, slow her down a bit. I think because you're walking backwards, my three speed, it feels like a six going forward. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually not that bad. One mile. Oh. So we did that at 15. 25. Oh my god, my head. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, I need some protein. So I'm gonna go pick up Katie. We have a date night tonight and we're gonna figure out what we're doing for dinner. We got beautiful Katie behind the camera. Say hi. Hello. Hello. So we are letting the dark ward control our date night as it's Saturday night. That's just the life of dating a YouTuber. I'm sorry, Katie. I'm used to it. Yeah, you're used to it. So the four options, so number one, numbers one to five is whatever Katie desires. Hope that I can provide this in the kitchen as there are no time constraints. And then six to 10 is a $50 pizza. So not just a $50 order, but one pizza being $50. So I don't know if we can actually even do that, but if we get it, we will find out surely. And then 11 to 15 is blindfolded in the grocery store aisle, in the freezer aisle. So we're gonna be blindfolded, go to the aisle. The first two items that we touch is what we have to eat. So it kind of reminds me, blindfolded, reaching into the, the cool, the Game of Thrones role play. That sounds like so much fun though. Yeah, it does sound like a lot yeah. of fun. And then the last one, 16 to 20 being an anabolic Sunday. A bunch of Halo Top protein bars, protein cookies, just this massive dessert gains fiesta for two. Did you? Yeah, what is that, four? You got it. Whatever you desire, it's whatever you desire. I want, you want? The I want the $50 pizza. You want $50 pizza? I want the $50 pizza. So we gotta figure out if we can make $50 pizza. Can I help you? Hi, can I place an order for pickup, please? Sure, what do you like to pick up? This is a no judgment zone, right? No, what's that? Never mind. Um, can I please get a party size pizza, please? Yeah. Um, with double cheese. Yeah. And then I'll do five of the gourmet toppings. Uh, what topping? Um, spinach, please. Yeah. Uh, marinated chicken breast. Yeah. The roasted red peppers. Yeah. Caramelized onions. Yeah. A roasted garlic. Okay. Um, the hot pepper rings. Uh, hot pepper ring, yeah. And then mushrooms. Uh, so mushroom, okay. Is that enough for one person? Uh, no, it's too much. It's too much. Yeah, pepper only party size is very big. I thought that was a uh, personal for the ambitious. What's that? Never mind. You know, I'm just gonna go with it anyway. I'm pretty hungry today. Uh, Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. And how much is it, by the way? Uh, I, my computer is busy. Maybe over fifty dollars. Okay, just over fifty dollars. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, bye. Time to reveal our $61.70 pizza. I'm definitely gonna keep this bill as a memento of a bad food choice. So it gives off an essence of high blood pressure and low self-esteem and take a look at this. Okay, let's do it. Are you a corner girl or a middle girl? I was literally gonna ask you that. I feel like if me and you both, like, if we successfully finish this, I feel like we're gonna have to, like, snuggle and listen to, like, Lano Del Rey. Aren't we done. doing that? 12 each. Okay. That's what I thought. Katie's choice. Salute there. I mean, if I'm not choking on cheese, I don't know what your version of extra cheese even means. You really try to have double cheese, eh? But it's it is thick. very, it's very flavorful. It is oh, yeah. very flavorful. Got, like, eight toppings in here. It better be. 
sauce, cheese, toppings, nothing's like, you know, like doing it all for me. It's all like just it's like a it's a team experience. Mmm. It's not as daunting looking as I thought it was gonna be. But I could very comfortably eat this on my own. I know you could too. You literally said in the car that I couldn't, and I almost didn't eat this with you. But like now, but now that I see it. As a kid growing up, this is something I would totally order, but it doesn't do it for me now. I feel like nostalgia is not what it used to be. I also thought there's gonna be like enough oil on it to fill up our lube bottle, bro. Can I serve you my love? You can, you can feed me too. No, I always get afraid of like losing a finger. So we gotta give our rating out of 10. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, hey, seven. Seven? Yeah. Why? Seven. Poor mama. There's too much going on. I just think it's just, it just needs a little bit less. I mean, you did ask for it. And there's no pineapple. We did it, baby. Woo! A couple took down a party size pizza for five. That is sexy. We just sat here and we just ate in silence. We both go to our own little world when we eat, don't we? Yeah, I need stretchy pants and a baggy t-shirt mm. right now. That's okay, because they know us there. So I am gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.